Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I know you guys heard that a lot during your service. It's a loud number of the uh, Welcome to the Vietnam Era Commemoration Pinning Ceremony, presented by the City of Lebanon on behalf of Fort Leonard Wood, Mid Missouri AUSA Chapter, and Lebanon's Friends of the Fort. Along with a color guard from the Camdenton High School Junior ROTC, led by Cadet Burmeister. I am Command Sergeant Major Retired Freddie Brock, and I will be going. I'd like to go off script. You got here. Let's give all these veterans a round of applause, please. <laughs> At this time, I would like to introduce the mayor of our great city of Lebanon, Mr. Jared Carr. to welcome each of you to Lebanon today for this special, well-deserved ceremony. The Vietnam War was a long and difficult conflict that impacted the entire country, especially those that served. You sacrificed and served our nation, fighting for the cause of freedom, and today we in the city of Lebanon want to demonstrate our respect and appreciation for your service. More than 8.7 million Americans served during the Vietnam era, and 58,279 Americans lost their lives in this conflict. Each of you, no matter what your job was, served us with honor and valor, and for that, we will always be grateful. While we can't go back in time and fix the wrongs, we can do what is right today. As I look across this auditorium and I see brave men and women who answered the call of duty and fought for our freedom. Even though you knew the risk, you answered the call of your country and lived up to your duty. Each of you came home, resumed a regular life, and continued serving our nation in your everyday life despite the struggles. You never gave up, you continued to serve, and you made a difference in the lives of the preceding generations. Today we honor you and we pledge never to forget your sacrifice. We honor all of the sacrifices that you made. We will never forget the pain and suffering you endured, and we will never forget the courage and dedication that you showed. Simple words could never truly express the appreciation that you deserve. So while each of you deserve more than we can give, we sum up today with two words. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of color followed by the Pledge of Allegiance and the MOP.
case will be delivered by U.S. Army veteran, start first class retired, Bill Todd. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning and we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for your many, many, many blessings. Yes. And Lord, as we gather today to recognize the, the people that serve their country, we just pray that you would suit a blessing to each, to each and every one of them. Uh, put your love and arms around them and take care of them. Along with this country, Lord, we thank you for this country that you allowed us to be a part of. And Lord, we just pray that this country will turn, return to you and honor and glory and glorify you. Lord, we thank you for who you are. We just pray for the strength and the willpower to do what you'd have us to do. And these things we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Service, valor, sacrifice. 
It's really an honor for me to be here today in front of all you men and women who know and understand the commitment of the Vietnam era. You understand the bonds formed in the military, in the military, and particularly in combat. Most of you went to Vietnam for a one-year period initially. Some got to make many trips. But when you came back home, you were much older than one year old, older than when you went. You had many life experiences that are with you today, and that doesn't matter if you volunteered or were drafted, how you got there. If you served in that era, your life cha was changed by that era. Today we live in what's described as a divided country, and that is certainly true, but our world was much different in the Vietnam era as well. Political distress, confusion, social unrest, disagreements on all levels, and Vietnam was the first war ever to be broadcast on the evening news in our homes across the land, nearly in real time. It might have been a day or so old, but it's the first time that we were watching the war that we had committed our sons and daughters to, and it was a life-altering event. Our country drafted and then also accepted volunteers who were young and registered to, uh, for selective service at age 18. The names were placed in a lottery of your birth date. And the birth, and then there was a drawing each year to determine who would be drafted for that year's class. A low lottery number meant you were sure to go to Vietnam. Certainly sure to be adopted for your senior trip, as many refer to it then. As the mayor indicated, nearly 9 million served in the Vietnam era. The peak troop strength in country was April of 1969, 543,000 soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, were serving in country. As Mayor Carr said, 58,279 are uh, listed as being uh, killed and died in hostile combat. 61% of those were under 21 years old. 303,704 were wounded, 75,000 disabled, 2,338 missing in action, 766 prisoners of war with 114 of those who died. The last draftee for the Vietnam era was June 30th, 1973. There is so much more to the story as thousands, and each and every one of you, I might say, came home different than when you left. You had seen and unseen injuries. We know that you have lived with those memories, those uh, of friends, colleagues, and what you experienced, whether you were in country or preparing this side or other places across the world. And many of you came home and the Vietnam War raged inside of you and still may rage today and will be with you until you leave this earth. In my own family, my brother-in-law was an Army E-5 combat engineer, served in, in country 69 and 70. He came home and lived a normal life, as you might say, but he died of Agent Orange cancer 20 years after coming home. His name's not on the wall. His name's not in that 58,000 number. Many others. That's just one example that many people continue to battle the effects of that war, either personally or your family members have. And we acknowledge that today and thank you. This is the reason that we recognize, thank, and honor our Vietnam veterans. You served at our nation's request, and your family served as well because they sent their, their most precious asset, their young children, their sons and daughters, to protect our country. And uh, it's, it, we're here to pay tribute for those contributions made on the home front and those families who served and all those who gave the ultimate sacrifice um, for our United States. Our country
country still continues to struggle and say and, and figure out how do we say thank you to your generation, to this generation. We've done a better job in years to come. We have a lot to do, a long way to improve. But all I can say today is the mayor indicated is to say thank you. On behalf of the Secretary of the Army, the Honorable Christine Warmuth, we say thank you for all that you've done. We say thank you for your service. We say thank you for your mentorship. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your public and private occupations and your military occupations. Regardless of the length of service, everything you've done was molded by those life events. We thank you for all that you have done for our country. Today's a small memento, but it is an acknowledgement of what you have done and what you have given us. Thank each and every one of you and your families, and may God continue to bless. At this time, we will begin calling the veterans up in alphabetical order to receive their pen and certificate. Your families are welcome to accompany you on stage and take as many pictures as you want.
Mr. Dill Edmire. Mr. Sam Allen. Mr. Andrew Barnett. Mr. Dennis Bartell. <coughs> Mr. Marvin Bassnett. Mr. Paul Berry. Mr. Richard Bennett. <clears throat> Mr. Donald Blackburn. Mr. Leroy Boston. Mr. Junior Boston. Mr. McDonald Brand. Mr. Stephen Caldwell. <laughs> Mr. Kenny Canyon. Mr. Lester Caps. Mr. Daryl Caps. Mr. Clifford Claxton. Mr. James Cook. Mr. Jack Cook. Mr. Larry, Larry Cravens.
Miss Norma Darrow. Mr. Thomas Michael Denny. <laughs> Mr. James Denny. Mr. T.W. Dennis. <laughs> Mr. William E. Dickinson. Mr. Jerry Duger. Mr. Jim Edwards. Mr. James Edwards. <laughs> Mr. Freeman, oh, Mr. Freeman Elam. Mr. Robert Fields. <coughs> Mr. Albert Hilario. Mr. Arnold Grace. <laughs> Miss Nancy Hall. Mr. George Hatch. Mr. James Houseman. Mr. Gary Bud Heathley.
Mr. Jesus Hernandez. Mr. Steve Hull. <laughs> Mr. Larry Jacobson. Mr. William Johnson. Mr. George Johnson. Mr. Robin Johnson. <laughs> Mr. Sam Jones.
Jane Jones. Mr. Arnold Lear. Tom McCune. Mr. Elmer G. Miller.
Mr. Kilmiller. Kevin Myers.
Amino, Phil, Marita. <laughs> Mr. Jack Owen. Mr. John Peterson. <laughs> Mr. Tom Potts. Mr. Ron Richards. Mr. Kenny Rogers. Lloyd Dwight Sanders Sr. <laughs>
if you have to use the latrine, go out the door and go in the double glass door. Mr. David Sauer.
Alvin Tatman. <laughs> Miss Sarah Tatman Herdman. And Miss Lynn Tatman Keene. Mr. James Terry. Paul Thompson. Simon Westerfield, Jr. Mr. Kenneth Wood.
Please let us know. I'm going to get you back. Before you leave, also as a token of appreciation for the veterans, the city of Lebanon has provided mugs, which also include a $10 gift card, a tea redneck steakhouse. Please be sure you grab yours on the way out the door over here. We invite you to enjoy fellowship and refreshments in the middle of the theater. Right there. Lost my way. May God bless you and our great nation. Now I'll turn it over to our wonderful mayor. Close out. Thank you, Brady. And as I said in my opening statement, uh, it truly is an honor to be here and to recognize uh, all of the, the Vietnam veterans that, that walked across this stage today and all of the uh, almost 9 million that served during that era. Uh, what an honor and blessing it is to be able to stand here and, and shake all, most of you all's hands. I think I got about half of you. So uh, just a true, true honor to be here. And, and once again, on behalf of the city of Lebanon and uh, the 15,000 people that I represent, thank you. Thank you very much for everything that you have done throughout your life, throughout your service. Can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. Uh, truly, uh, it's, it's just amazing to, to see everyone out here and, and be able to recognize you. So thank you again. And with that, we will uh, close today's ceremonies. I do appreciate it again, everybody. Don't forget that uh, we do have the mugs, as Freddie said, out here. Thank you, Mayor Carr. Thank you, Mayor Carr. Uh, I know, Brady just whispered in my ear that uh, all of the pictures that we took up here on the front, uh, uh, on the stage here, will be on the AUSA's uh, Facebook page. So you can look that up and uh, look up yourself and, and make sure you were smiling. A couple of you, a couple of you had some really good smiles. So uh, appreciate it again. Thank you all very much for coming out today, and, and thank you again for your service to our country. And God bless the United States.